The Brian the Brain Show. The Brian the Brain Show. He's going to tell you how it's going to go in the pay-per-views of WWE and Impact Wrestling. It's the Brian the Brain Show. The Brian the Brain Show. He's smarter than you know. The Brian the Brain Show. Hi, and welcome to Brian Brain Show. I am Brian the Brain Binder, and yes, I am smarter than you know. Today we are talking about WWE Pay-Per-View Payback. There's a lot of matches, Divas Championship Match, Triple Threat Match for the IC title, US Championship Match, Best of the World Match, Tag Team Match, World Heavyweight Championship Match, and the WWE Team title are all on the line, and also a smarter then hit harder pre-show. So we are going to get on the way with the highs and the buzz and the lows and the highs and the highs and the lows and the howdy hoes. Say hello all to you in the world of Facebook and Twitter and YouTube. Those who watch me and those who don't and those that should. Hey Jimmy Farley. Roy Lusa. David Inwell, Angela Hager, Abbas Khan, IBN and Trizzy, World Historians, Ligorian, everybody at International Wrestling Fan Base, and beyond. Okay, we're going to get this off and rolling with the pre-show, which we got Damien Sendo versus Sheamus. I don't like seeing Sheamus in the pre-show, but you know... Not much we can do about that, so we're going to go with Sheamus over the Damien Sandow. Sandow. So Sheamus with the bro kick for the win. In Divas section, we got Caitlyn, the Divas champion, versus AJ Lee, the crazy one. Crazy AJ Lee. We're going to go with AJ Lee. <coughs> in this match over Caitlyn. Yes, Kaylin's a better wrestler. But, it's time for AJ to have her title. Um, triple Threat Match, which was supposed to be Fandango versus The Miz and Wade Barrett. Uh, but, Fandango has a little concussion on to the head So, he is being replaced by Paul Havens. Curtis Axel. That's right. Curtis Axel is going for his first WWE title. And everybody knows his father, Kurt Haney, was the master of the Intercontinental title. So, hmm, hmm, um, hmm, ah, hmm. This is a hard one. Not Curtis Axel for the win. Um, we have Dean Ambrose versus Kane. For Dean Ambrose's United States Championship. Oh, this is gonna be a good match. They've already put on a few good matches on Raw and SmackDown. Um, of course, I've been pulling for Kane in the last few pay per views where I picked him. He's lost, but I can't do it here. Uh, I have to go with the Dean Ambrose for the win. That's right, Dean Ambrose for the win. Then in the best of the world match, we got Chris Y2J Jericho versus CM Punk. Um, which, you know, Chris Jericho's never defeated CM Punk. What? And last count, for this last time, neither had John Cena. Um, but this is the Windy City. It's in Chicago. Chicago is the home of CM Punk. See CM Punk come back with the victory. Victory CM Punk. Victory CM Punk. In the tag title match, we got The Shield versus Team Arc K. No. <laughs> or Daniel Bryan. And 
the Slytherin Snake, the one and only Randy Borton. I mean, Orton. <laughs> Borton. <laughs> um, interesting tag team. Um, I prefer Sheamus and Orton to be the tag team there, but, you know, since they threw these two in the mix together, we'll see what happens. Um, some people say Daniel Bryan to turn heel. Some people say Randy Orton to turn heel. But what if they just work together and destroy the Shield and win the tag team titles? Ain't gonna happen. Shield with the win. Shield to retain. Okay. In the world title match. That's right, world title match. We have Alberto... <coughs> Sorry. Versus Dolph Ziggler. Um, should be a very entertaining match, but we'll see what happens because Dolph is just coming back from Concussion to the end. So I'm going to go with Alberto Del Rio for the win. Okay, now we have three matches between John Cena and Ryback for the WWE title in three stages of hell. More like three stages of lame. <laughs> Sorry. You know, ambulance match, not bad. Tables match, not bad. Lumberjack match. Anyways. Cena takes the lumberjack match. Rob Beck takes the tables match. And in the third final match, Cena puts Rob Beck in the ambulance for the win. Now, hmm, is this how I would do it? No. No, but I'm predicting Cena to win. The way I would do it is Lumberjacks get involved in the ring, causing the draw in the first match. Both men get sent to tables at the same time in the second match. Again, a draw. And third match. John Cena gets put in the ambulance, and Ryback wins. That's how I do it. But, since this is the WWE, we can't have Cena lose to Ryback. Bunch of little kids all fucking freaking cry. Freaking, I didn't say the other word. Freaking cry. Like they were a bunch of pansy asses last time. Because Cena got hurt. Oh, we gotta cry because... Please... Give me a break. Uh, yeah. We're going to go with um, Cena for the win there. And, uh, you know, I know this doesn't take me very long today, but I just kind of wanted to rush around and get through them done. I'm talking a little bit about uh, Sting losing to Bully Ray, which was one of the only matches I got right at this, whatever that last pay-per-view was for TNA. Slammiversary, Slammiversary. Um, Sting will never, ever, 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 ever get to put his hands on the TNA world title. So, uh, let's see. Next negotiation time you think he's coming to WWE, WWE folks? Let's just troll that news, right? Troll him on over and let's see him versus Undertaker at WrestleMania. Yeah, we'll see. That may or may never happen. We'd love to see it happen. It may or may never happen. Anyways, uh, my predictions again. Seamus, uh, AJ Lee, Curtis Axel, Dean Ambrose, Sam Book, The Shield, Alberto Del Rio, John Cena, then Ryback, then John Cena. And if, uh, 
goes into the other matches. I don't know what they're going to throw in there. I doubt it. Anyways, uh, y'all have a good week, and we'll see you the next WWE or TNA pay-per-view, whichever comes first. Unless something major, majorly, major, major happens that I need to do a show. Thank you all, and have a good evening. And don't forget, Sunday, pay-per-view, 6.30 Central, 7.30 Eastern. If I don't know what time Western, I have no idea. <laughs> this is Brian Brain Butter. We're on the Brian Brain Show. Thank you all, and good night.